Hey guys, so I'm currently studying for an AP Biology test and I thought I would show you guys my entire process for studying for one topic. So in this case, I'm looking through cellular respiration. So the very first thing I do before I take out any study materials is to get out a blank sheet of paper and just a black pen and write down everything that I can recall from memory about this topic. So I include like an outline of, a, of like the process of it, including details that I can remember. And so this is a type of brain dump uh, method that is extremely effective both before and after you study. Um, I typically just do it before, but I think doing it right before you have a big exam can also be very, very useful because um, you are assessing your knowledge without relying on the study materials you have around me, whether that's like your notes or textbook or prep book or really anything that can help you with the information. And so this is just you yourself. And so this is useful if you're preparing for free response questions as well and so after that I go to the end of my textbook chapter and in my textbook I have these little chapter review outlines and this is a method I talked about in my how to cram for a big test video in which I read through the outline of the chapter because it condenses the information into what's really important and instead of just reading the information I think it's really really important for me personally to write down as much as I can so I'm using this sheet music notepad that my mom got me and I'm simply writing down in black pen a brief outline in bullet points of everything I'm reading and in uh, the red color I'm highlighting information that I think I should go back and read that section again and um, just being able to um, decide what I need to review on and so that was a really good overview and then on the other side of that textbook page I have the review questions which are also really helpful because they assess your knowledge in a multiple choice fashion. Next I'm going through my Barron's Guide AP Biology uh, prep book and so I also have the Princeton Review one so I actually did this exact same process in the chapter in there as well because I think seeing a specific topic in many different ways is super super helpful for me because um, seeing the information presented in different ways um, really solidifies that in my memory. So as I go through the chapter in both the Princeton Review and the Barron's Guide, I highlight and annotate in the margins any important information or information that I need to double check on or absolutely make sure I remember. And so this is kind of what's known as active reading and instead of passive reading which is when you're simply letting your eyes scan across the text this is a method that keeps you engaged while you read and avoids the you know zombie like zoning out while you read and not really absorbing what you are going over and so this is a way to make sure that I'm efficiently spending my time studying and that I'm really encoding that information into my mind so Next, I am going in with my lecture notes and I am going through all of the important vocabulary and terms I need to remember for cell respiration. And so I am putting all of the vocabulary on the left side and all of the definitions or applications on the right side. This is a method from my fastest way to take notes video and is kind of a play on the alternative to flashcards or summary foldables. and. Again, I find that as I read through my lecture notes, instead of just scanning them over, if I'm creating a study material while I do it, it will keep me engaged and I can end up remembering that information better. And again, this entire process that I'm doing right now is um, done again with the other topic, which is photosynthesis. And so that way I can thoroughly revise and study for both topics in the same way and in addition to writing out 
in this little vocab notebook. I also really enjoy watching YouTube videos, so I didn't really take a video of me watching another video, but I really enjoy like the Bozeman Science ones, Crash Course, Khan Academy. All of those are great sources of information and allow you to see and learn in different ways. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'll be posting new videos every Wednesday, and definitely be sure to check out my 8tracks, Tumblr, and Instagram accounts because I post new content regularly in all three. Bye guys!